We're joined by Flynn Perez. Flynn, uh, how are you going, buddy? I see the hair's growing back nicely since you had to do that head shave. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's it's growing slowly. A few of the boys have been giving me stick about it how long it's taken, but no, nah, it's growing back. Had a little bit of a home job on the side the other day, so but yeah, I'm going well. I'm going well. That the boys say it's taken long to grow back. That to me, it looks like it's growing back really fast. Yeah, well, that's what I think, but I think the boys are just trying to find a bit of um. Yeah, something to give me a bit of stick about. So, Lukey McDonald always is in my ear about it. But, um, yeah, I think it's all just a bit of banter. So, how have you been occupying yourself, uh, you with the parents um, uh, up the country? Yeah, so I'm back in Bendigo. Um, I actually went down to, to Arden Street just before the kind of isolation started, grabbed a lot of gym equipment. Um, and, yeah, just kind of, I've been pretty lucky. I've got a really good setup here and... Been running, been doing my gym work, and um, yeah, just just training most days. More biceps. Uh, we saw those photos before isolation. More biceps. Or are you backing off now because you got too big? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I'm backing <laughs> off. It's, um, you know, don't 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 want to get too big up there like Robbie Robbie Tarrant. So, um, yeah, no, nah, just just doing what the the program prescribes me to do. Before we went into isolation. Um, with training, you're pretty much doing everything, but then just sort of had to pull back a little bit, as I understand it. Yeah, yeah, we just, I was doing, yeah, pretty much everything and in, into main training and everything, but the knee just didn't react quite as we'd liked and um, just had to pull back a little bit. But um, yeah, I feel fine at the moment. My knee's been good with the amount of training I'm doing. And um, once we get back into to training at the club, I, I should be pretty close to resume that. And um, yeah, it's just about getting that exposure to the footy drills and um, hopefully once once I tick that off, I'll be back ready to play. So with like Jack Zebel, he did his knee obviously in round one um, and because of this delay, it's probably meant that he will play in round two. Yeah. There's a silver lining there for him in some way. Is it a little bit the same for you? Is that, you know, if anything, this isolation COVID period's brought you time? Yeah, I think... You just got to look at it that way. I think if you don't look at it in a positive way, then um, you kind of find yourself down in the dumps a little bit. So, um, no, nah, I think it's definitely positive for me. It gives me a bit of extra time, um, especially given my age and how like risky it is with knees and younger people. So, um, yeah, I've been talking to Jack and it's kind of played into our hands a little bit, which is good. When you get drafted, a lot of people would be, you know, saying congratulations. Um, it's fantastic. What are you hearing now? Are people saying, oh, the worst luck ever for you because it's your you know, first year and you've been put off? Yeah. Like, what's the types of conversations that they're having with you? Yeah, I think like a lot of the boys we've been like I'm talking to, it's like, oh, geez, what a, what a year to get drafted. Like you get a taste of it and then it gets taken away from you again. And it's kind of been the story of my footy, actually. Like I've get, gotten a taste of the higher level and then all of a sudden an injury or something's happened. So um, I think... You just got to have a positive outlook on it. And um, I think Shorey's just been really good on being the best prepared team when we come back. So that's just the way I've, I've looked at it. And um, there hasn't been too much. I haven't really seen anyone back in Bendigo because of the restrictions and those rules. So, yeah. And in terms of when the team gets back together, um, do you know, do you have like a renewed focus individually? Oh, I wouldn't say a renewed focus. I think the circumstances have changed. So you have to kind of adjust and um, just be really diligent in what you're doing. But I think the common goal is we all, we always want to have team success. And I think the individual things change along the way, but for someone like me, who's rehabbing, it's just the same thing. Get, get yourself, get your body as, as um, cherry ripe as you can. And um, we'll just take it from there. We heard from some of the other guys that there've been these, um, these care groups um, where groups of players are in different chats together. Who's in your care group and who have you leaned on the most during this period? Yeah, so I've got Jamie McMillan, um, Lukey McDonald and Benny McKay. Um, yeah, it, it's a, it's the half an hour I actually look through, look forward to during the week because, um, yeah, we've got a really good care group and we, oh, there's just so much banter and we just um, give it to each other. So, yeah, it's been great. And we've been doing little games against each other's care groups, which has been a bit of fun and um, help with the connection in the team. But yeah, and also Gavin Brown's our uh, leader, like our coach, okay. each care group has a coach leader. So yeah, no, nah, our care group's great. And um, yeah, I'm keen, keen to get back into it. That's for sure. As soon as I mentioned care group, your face lit up. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, it's just, I don't know. Like, like, everyone has those little kind of groups you have. And every time we, we log on, especially over this format, it just, we just, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. Me and Lukey McDonald, we just give it to each other. So uh, I, haven't, yeah. I haven't caught up with Luke yet, but I'd imagine that you probably can't even see his face because he's got the biggest beard you've ever seen. Oh, wow. It's disgusting. Have you, have you seen it? No, I haven't, but I'm really keen now. Maybe I'll hook up with he, him next. He gives me grief about this and like, I just don't know what angle he can come from when he's got that on his face. But can you anyway. even see his mouth? Not really, no, no. I, I wish I wish he couldn't because then he you wouldn't be able to see him talk and stuff. <laughs> talk that much rubbish, but no, nah, it's it's all good fun. It's all good fun. What about Reece Shaw? Um, we also understand that he's been in uh, like contact with you guys pretty much daily. Um, have you yeah. enjoyed that interaction? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Reece has been. Oh, he's he's great. He's obviously. He's done a few knees himself and um, especially when I had the little um, hiccup, he's just always been super supportive and kept in contact with me. So I think having someone that's been through what I'm going through now is really helpful, especially him being a senior coach and um, oh, his connection and um, I suppose commitment to, to the footy club, oh, it's second to none. So yeah, we're really lucky and um, I don't think we'll, we've missed a beat. So once we come back, we'll be raring to go with the restrictions and your knee treatment what sort of things are you able to do to make sure that your knee's okay are you, are you able to just sort of see a physio or someone like that yeah so i've actually been traveling down to melbourne um to see christian now one of our physios he's been he's been awesome he kind of um and maddie ferrara they kind of combine and so i can run and get treatment on the same day and yeah i just head down the Calder freeway and um get treatment for for an hour or so and then run with Matty Faraz. So it's frustrating not being able to see them every day and kind of check in every day on how you're going. But I think we've done it really well. And um, in the circumstances we've got, it's, yeah, it's worked. That's for sure. One last one in isolation at the, at the house there, the family home, are you driving them crazy or are they driving you crazy or is it all sweet? Uh, I think, the first three weeks was good. It's good to get some meals cooked for me again. But yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely, it's definitely uh, getting to the point. I mean, brother and sister are grinding me gears a little bit and I want to get back to Melbourne. But no, nah, it, it, look, it's been good. Me and my brother, um, Oscar, we've got a very competitive uh, side to each other and we've been playing table tennis and like in the gym. So I've kind of been lucky because I've had him to push me in. Um, Everything we do, we just want to beat each other. So, yeah, it, it's, it's actually been quite good having him. It does sound like a good dynamic. Well, mate, thanks for um, spending the time with us uh, this morning. Really appreciate it. It's good to see you going well. Love the hair. Love everything. Thank um, yeah, we'll, thanks for having me. We'll talk to you soon, mate. Thanks. Yeah, hopefully see you soon. Catch up.